Hey, and welcome to the C8 MCT Creamer, Pure C8 MCT Creamer. I'm gonna go over some details with you, uh, try and explain the things I think you'd want to know about it. Um, so basically why use it, how I've improved this versus everything else that's out there in the market worldwide, um, and some practical details showing you what it actually does compared to the oil, our original product. And also giving you an idea of how you can help me to craft this and make it better for you in terms of the packaging, uh, the flavors and so on. I'll get more into detail why you might want to do that. Um, so this is the product. This is not the final packaging. We had a bit of a rush to get this out um, before Christmas, well before Christmas, and uh, some of our deliveries didn't happen in time. So. The label material and the actual final packaging, which is slightly different to this, not hugely different, um, will be in the next edition, which will also probably be before Christmas. Um, however, everything else is exactly the same. Um, the process, the ingredients, everything, um, it's still exactly uh, the same product that's going to be coming out up to Christmas. So why would you want to use this versus the original product, the, key, the C8 MCT, or just in general? Well, let me give you an example, a demo, because I think this is, you know, the best illustration of this thing. So, this is just black coffee, nothing special. I'm going to pour a couple of these here to give you an idea. I've got these nice seafood glasses uh, so that you can see everything that's going on here. So, two black coffees. What we're going to do is we're going to put the oil in, and for some of you that you know haven't experienced this, um, I free pour these days. <laughs> don't don't do that. Follow the instructions on the bottle uh, with consumption. So you know, just putting a bit. That's just over a tablespoon, most likely. So I put that into this one. Now I'm going to show you. Whoa, <laughs> need to spill it there. I'm going to show you if I can what the effect is. Uh, I'm going to have to tip this up a little bit. As you can see, there are bubbles there. That is because fat and water are very different uh, substances and uh, they always say is uh, blended all the time. I don't know if you can see there, but there's actually a layer of fat. You put, yeah, you can see on it. There's a layer of fat which is sit just sitting on top. Uh, so that whole tablespoon is going to sit on top. It's going to float on top. and. The, the, the only way around this is to blend it. So you guys may be blending it, um, and you know that's what I do every morning. Um, it's not as convenient for traveling in particular, and if you are just used to drinking a coffee or a drink with milk in it, right, or cream, because that will naturally mix in. Um, the reason for that is because there's another substance in there which emulsifies, which basically joins the fat and the water together to blend it, so it allow it to blend into one mixture. So it's all about this emulsification. Um, so that's going to stay separated, and you can blend it, and eventually it will separate again um, if you leave it standing for a while. Now, in comparison, we have here the Pure C8 MCT Creamer. Now, let me tell you what's in this. There are basically three main ingredients, uh, all natural. So we got the Pure C8 MCT oil, exactly the same one as here. Um, so it has all the same properties. And then we have purified water. So we've went out and got actually farmer, uh, you know, pharmaceutical grade uh, water. But we didn't need to do that, but we did that. And organic acacia fiber. I really like uh, acacia fiber. You'll see it in the ketone bars when they come out as well. And the reason is that it's very, it's gut beneficial. Um, it helps a lot of people with their gut problems, but it also promotes uh, the growth of some of the beneficial gut bacteria in the microbiome. Um, so I like to use that in some of the products, and you'll see that coming out o over the next months. It's also completely non-glycemic. It has no impact on your blood sugar. Be completely flat with it, so it's a great fiber for that. It has you know, other great properties. So these are the main ingredients. Um, after that, we have an emulsifier. This is something that helps the fat and the water to blend together which is natural sunflower lecithin. So it's taken from sunflower and it's a you know, natural substance. Uh, it's actually very important, but it's only a really tiny, tiny amount that's in here actually. And then we have a preservative, which is called sorbic acid. You'll see this everywhere in lots of products. Um, basically, whenever you have a product which has water in it, you need to have some kind of preservative to make sure that there's no yeast growth or 
any bacterial growth later if, and so to give it a shelf life as well. Um, but actually like this it's basically you have to put that in. Now I'm going to be testing um, because the caprylic acid, the C8 MCT is actually antimicrobial in itself um, and it can be used as a preservative so it has that quality to it. <clears throat> so it's positive it's possible with further lab testing of this product, I may be able to establish that I can completely remove the sorbic acid. Um, so I know some of you guys might be interested in that, um, but just to tell you for the moment, it's you know really critical and it's a very common preservative. You'll see it in all sorts of products and actually comes from trees uh, in origination. Uh, and that just ensures there's no bacterial or uh, yeast growth in the shelf life of the, of the product. And the shelf life of this is going to probably be uh, 12 months. Currently, this one is just till April because um, we're being extra careful while we're testing and getting all the labs done to establish its shelf life. So let me show you what this actually does. <clears throat> so it comes with basically a squirting pourer and you squeeze it. So you're going to squeeze it like that and it just mixes in there. So you'll see basically it's very light milk because you'll see the color of uh, this has changed. It's now pretty much like a coffee. You might want to give it a quick stir. But it actually basically looks like, you know, Americano coffee that you've added milk to. Um, so you can see that there's no oil separation at all there. It's all mixed in thoroughly. So as you can imagine, that's easier for... <laughs> Look at the state of this. You always know when Damien's doing his videos because it's a mess. Um, anyway, you guys like the on-the-cuff stuff, right? <laughs> um, so that's, you know, basically what that does. It just mixes straight in. So you can see it's more convenient. There's no blending. Um, and uh, it's actually for some people, if, if you are very, very sensitive to this, which some people are because of the antimicrobial effects, we believe, um, then it might be worth you trying this one because the acacia fiber is like may protect you against your sensitivity and you may be able to get larger doses of this. We don't know. This is going to be, you know, this is going to be something that we learn because we just brought this out. Obviously, we have to get the experience from people like yourself. Um, but as, as always, we're always here to give you all the best advice we can on how to use this to the best of your needs. Um, so all you have to do is ask us and we'll let you know what the experience is so far as it grows. So this is, frankly, it tastes to me very similar to a black coffee with milk in it. Um, now that you, you've put a little bit of that, uh, I would say that it will be like, if I added the same amount of milk, that isn't quite as white. So you'll see it, it'll have less of a white color. So that's one thing. Um, and, and something else that just, just to mention is that milk, just in case one of you guys drinks a lot of milk or was drinking milk and, and wants to use it the same as milk, um, it won't lower the temperature of the coffee the same way that milk does. Um, so you just want to be careful of that, right? Um, so if, if it's a really, really hot coffee and you add that, you'll still have to wait for that to cool down a little bit or, you know, whatever. I just want to make sure you guys don't get burnt. Um, by assuming it was the same as milk in terms of its cooling capacity. So that's, you know, that, that's basically the main things I wanted to go over. This has, of course, the same ketone boosting properties as this. Uh, you'll need about twice the dose. So it has exactly half the amount of CA in it because it's got the other ingredients in it. So if you are currently on two tablespoons, you would probably add, uh, sorry, if you're currently on one tablespoon, which is the normal dose, you might add two tablespoons of the C8 creamer to get the same effect as you would with the C8 oil. Um, just to show that again, that's the you know, standard separation. It's very clear there. So, you know, I've, why is this different to everything else uh, that's out there worldwide currently, right? So there are a few different products that have come out over the last couple of years which are similar to this. They call, it, they call them emulsified MCT or they will call it uh, sometimes a creamer. Um, and there's a range of them. And if you check the ingredients on those, there's a, like a range of different um, things they're adding for this. Um, so this one has been developed with simplicity and natural, you know, natural ingredients in mind and to keep the list of ingredients as small as possible to get the effect. So there are right now just four ingredients in it. 
Um, and you know, I may be able to eliminate that sorbic acid after lots of testing just to make sure uh, that it's not needed. Um, but basically, there's hardly anything in it compared to uh, a lot of the other ones out there. So you know, if you're interested in a, what we call clean label, natural ingredients, um, I've used organic, high quality acacia fiber because it's exactly the stuff I'd want in there. Um, and of course, I've used the Pure C8 MCT, which is you know, the purest um, out there that we know of. Um, and the natural uh, source of sunflower lecithin. So that's you know kind of something you have to uh, took as a while to source as well. Um, so it's very clean from that perspective. And it's also the only one worldwide to contain C8 MCT, which is the active uh, MCT uh, type. Um, so it's the same as our product. The, only, the reason we don't sell MCT oil is because we view mixed MCT oils with a collection as not contributing to the end goal, which is to raise your ketones and get the benefits from raised ketones. Um, and basically, you know, the mixed ones would just dilute the C8. So that's why we only sell the pure C8. And it's the reason we only put the pure C8 in this product and any other products that will come out because um, that's what we're interested in. So there's that also, uh, we just wanted to make sure that's really the, you know, the two basic reasons why, you know, this is, I've made this to be the best possible. Um, the other ways I want to make it the best possible for you is for it to taste better than all of the others. So that's really something you can help me with, um, because I don't know what flavors you guys like. Um, but I am talking to people to get natural flavors um, that would be appropriate for you guys. And the way, way that I would look at it is, uh, so for instance, I like mocha. Um, so currently, you know, one of the things I use is the sweet leaf sweet drops. I don't know if you've come across these. Um, so they have different flavors of these. And, you know, I think the flavors are pretty good. So this is the chocolate version. They have vanilla version and they have caramel version. These are my favorites. They have others. Um, but these ones, what I like about them um, is that they are a good fit for the creamer. That's why I'm bringing them up right now, because if you're someone who likes, uh, you know, cafe mocha, that, that was always my favorite, actually, which is why I'm opening the, the chocolate one right now, or caramel macchiatos, you know, you go to Starbucks or your vanilla latte or your white chocolate uh, uh, mocha and so on. Then, you know, these are, you know, potentially the exactly the uh, types of flavors I could develop for you so you to enjoy the taste. So I'm going to put some of this in, which is uh, the chocolate. And you just put a sque squeeze there. Just one squeeze is good enough. So that is, you know, pretty much a mocha now. It's great. So, you know, ba basically by combining the creamer with these, uh, we sell these on Keto Source, uh, by the way. Um, so, you know, if you do like these, I would, you know, encourage you to buy the combination. Like, do you like a caramel macchiato? Or we'll try these two together. Just one squirt, or if you like vanilla latte, try these two together. Um, I mean, well, like these two. Um, and, you know, give me your feedback about what what you would like in terms of flavors. Maybe these will help you to decide, um, but I'm open to all ideas. Uh, one of the things I said in the email, if you, if you just got that, the keto update, is that we've, I've worked very hard to build out our, our ability to develop products, um, which is why I've been so busy lately. And we now have, we're now, we're now set up in a, a new factory, which is gonna give us rapid uh, product development capability, which means we can be really flexible and if you give me some feedback for whatever reason that you know you don't like this or you want more of this i can react and you know i can i can uh, put that basically into the products quicker than i used to be like literally within a, a month or two at times depending on what the change is um you know so take advantage of that if there's something that you want just let me know i'm going to put a link below this video and a link in the email that you the keto update that you received um, if you just tell me what, what you'd like, um, you know, I will develop it. I will get that flavor. Um, like I said, I like the uh, Cafe Marker. That's always been my personal favorite. So that's what I want to do in the future. And literally, it's a few months before we improve this. Uh, the packaging improvement for the bottle that's going to come out is that this will, this will be a different color. This will just be silver like you've seen on the website. Um, but that's the label. That's the only change there. The pour is going to be slightly better. We're going to have a valve in there. Probably not important to you, but I think it's cool. So we're going to have a valve in there, and it's just going to have a cleaner pouring, squirting 
uh, thing. So it's, it's just, just a little detail, but you know, I think it'll make your experience with the product better. Um, so that's gonna hopefully be out before Christmas. And then really the next project for me is like to develop some flavors that you'd like. Uh, this is a plain flavor. So there's no flavor in this. Like I say, it's probably like milk if you add it to a, a coffee and you can add it to teas, smoothies, whatever you like, right? Um, so that's, that's pretty much it from me. That's all I gotta say. Um, I hope you like, you know, enjoy it. I wanna hear your feedback about it. You can give that via the, the, the link that I, that I just gave you if you want to give me some detailed feedback. Um, I am considering some like travel options uh, for the packaging, so small options like sachets or the capsules. Um, if you check out the link, I've got some pictures of that. So if you're interested in one of those, these are common formats people use for creamers um, in general. And you know, if you've got a vote, if there's one you prefer to have, then you know, I'm listening, I'm all ears. Um, if you have any questions that I haven't answered in this video about this product um, that you'd like to know, then uh, all you have to do is email me at Damien, D-A-M-I-E-N-B, B for boat, at ketosaurus.co.uk, or you can just email my team directly at T-E-A-M at ketosaurus.co.uk. Um, and if you've ever related to them, if you've ever used them, you'll know that you know we've got a bunch of PhDs, nutritionists, and, and people in, in that team um, who will serve you and answer any questions on ketogenic diets, fasting, uh, how to use the products to up to optimize for any goal you have. So I really encourage you always to use those guys um, because they really enjoy it. They're constantly learning. They're actually studying this stuff with research studies and stuff. So understanding what, what people actually want and stuff is great for them. They love it. Um, so that's Matt and Aaron, if you haven't spoken to them before. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna sign off now. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Um, I hope I've answered all of your questions. If you have any other questions, uh, just let me know. Talk to you again soon.